So here we are once again looking at Conservative Home. And I always, always, always have to stress, bring this up. Why are you looking at Conservative Home so much? Why do you pay so much attention to this website? Well, as I've said many, many, many times before, this website is highly, highly influential to the non-parliamentary conservative forum. Many MPs write their, their thought pieces to conservative home to the to reach the wider you know conservative voting base conservative home was the big headline sponsor of the last big major conservative conference this isn't some website to be honest that we can just afford to ignore because today we're having a look at these league tables and they they publish these these league tables all the time they they go out to their readership and go okay who's your who's your favorite member of parliament who do you who do you like the look of who's got you know your your fancy this month and the thing is the thing is rewind the clocks all the way back to like the beginning signs of Boris Johnson is about to tumble who could who could possibly replace the 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 king himself Boris Johnson who could who could do it and yet you look at the polls that were here at this time and there were two clear favorites it was Liz Truss by an absolute country mile and then Rishi Sunak. And I was out there saying, <laughs> in the field, going, look, this could be a straight-up contest if it comes to a leadership contest between Rishi Sunak or Liz Truss. It will between, be, be between those two. And, oh, look, what happened? Why? Because Conservative Home did that. It polled the, the members. It knew who how how much there was this 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 favoritism for for Liz Truss not of course realizing the fact that she was absolutely awful <laughs> because she had a good PR machine and so she was constantly sort of reaching out to the conservative faithful saying hey wouldn't I make an excellent prime minister and yet at the time there were people in the comments saying Liz Truss no Liz Truss would never never make it to the, to, not even to the final two. She would never even be elected prime minister. The Conservative Party would never <laughs> consider doing such a thing. And yet, we live in the reality where that happened. Never, ever forget that. That we live in that reality. That happened. And you can go back and you can check those videos and even comments of people saying, Liz Truss will never get there. She'll never get to the final two. So this is why we sort of have to pay attention to some of these, the, these polls and, and, and what they do and potentially what they could mean for the wider Conservative Party. Who's popular? Who's not popular? Who could be about potentially to lose their job. I guess very clearly, it does look like uh, Theresa Coffey might be about to lose her job. And bear in mind, bear in mind what was shocking about these polls was one of these polls also predicted a cabinet reshuffle because all the people who weren't popular on this poll that were at the time in cabinet under Boris Johnson very quickly got replaced for the more popular people. So do not underestimate how influential this website can be. This is why we cover it constantly for all the absolutely ridiculousness it puts out. And oh, trust me, they've put out two articles which we will be covering <laughs> on this pure ridiculousness. Although we may save one for the live stream, which will have happened yesterday. Um, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> Like I say, I don't like doing two 
conservative home videos uh, back to back. But I'll, I'll I'll do one for the live stream. Uh, it'll it'll be fun too. It'll be fun to go over. So I think we'll do that probably this evening. But yeah. So what are this month's poll numbers look looking like? Well, Ben Wallace once again is at the top. Ben Wallace riding high in the polls. Defence Secretary, and has been the Defence Secretary for quite some time now, um, been polling big. He is the number one poll person to beat. In fact, he is, if you look at the numbers, which we'll go into in a moment, the clear leader. But before we get into that, please do remember to click on the like, share and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and one updation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much to all those people who do help support the channel that way. So let's go over and have a look at these poll numbers, because again, makes for interesting reading. So, Ben Wallace, 83% leading the pack massively. And the next one, number two, is Kimmy Badnock at 60%. So, 20 points ahead, if there were to be a leadership contest and Ben Wallace was to enter, I, well, my money my money is on, on Ben Wallace. That's why I'd put my money on, on Ben Wallace. Then behind Kimmy Badnock, James Cleverly. Then you've got Penny Morden, Steve Barclay, Rishi Sunak, <laughs> bear in mind the Prime Minister, on 47, only one, one, one slight percentage point ahead of Suella Braverman. Rishi Sunak's on 47.4. Braverman is on 47.3. So she's only just ahead. And you've got Johnny Mercer, Ton Tugendhat, Alistair Jack, uh, Michael, uh, Michael Dorgan, uh, Gillian Keegan, Mel Stride, Simon Hart, Victoria Perez, Greg Hans, Alex Chalk, Chris Hutton Harris, uh, DC, uh, David TC Davis, Mark Harper, Oliver Dowden, uh, Liz Fryer, Jeremy Queen, Michael Gove, again making it just uh, but it's still at the bottom, uh, John John Glenn, Lord True, Grant Shapps, uh, Robert Jenrick, uh, uh, Andrew Mitchell, Jeremy Hunt, very very last. Avoids narrowly, narrowly going into the negative numbers at 0.6%. But then, look who's at the bottom of this chart. It's Teresa Coffey at minus 4.6. And I will, I will, I will tell you now. If 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 history uh, keeps its place, and we can predict what these polls have shown in the past. It has certainly shown that Jeremy Hunt and Theresa Coffey might not be keeping their cabinet positions for too long. <laughs> certainly, Theresa Coffey being in a lot of trouble, obviously being the minister in charge of environment, you can even tell conservatives are not happy at the way that she has been handling that. And it's reflected now in the, in the poll numbers for this. Very, very much so. Very, very much so. But the fact that, once again, you've got Ben Wallace, Kimmy Badnock, James Cleverley, Penny Mordant, uh, Steve Barclay, then Rishi Sunak, doesn't bode too well for Rishi Sunak. But bear in mind, Boris Johnson, when he was um, sort of replaced, was a lot, lot lower. But even when he was in position uh, and, and sort of maybe at his height, Johnson was, I think, from what I remember, third or fourth he would normally be be sort of performing on these polls where again where ben wallace position he occupies now that used to be where liz truss was and of course you can see she's not even in <laughs> not even in this list there's not even lee anderson lee anderson the guy who has been brought in in a pure of desperation to try and secure the the red wall <laughs> not even not even performing on this chart not even that popular amongst conservatives even though he claims he's 
really popular. So interesting reading once again uh, for these poll numbers. Um, as I always said, you know, at the beginning, what what does this eventually mean? Well, it just tells you who's currently really popular in the in the Tory party, and of course, effectively, if there was to be a leadership contest, if you're looking, if rumors start to circulate after the potential local election state, if they go really badly for Rishi Sunak, well, Ben Wallace, Kimmy Badnock, James Cleverly, potentially the names could be thrown about as potential replacement because look how popular those people are compared to Rishi Sunak. You see why I, I pay attention to this, um, to the conservative home, because certainly when it comes to these types of, of league tables that they, that they publish, so far history has called it right for them calling potential prime ministers or people do we say getting the boot from cabinet and then being brought in based on these numbers? And then, of course, you've got all the ridiculousness that they publish in there, in their little blogs and their thought pieces. And trust me, we'll be going over some of those very soon. So, as always, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. And as always, thank you very much to all the do those who do support the channel that way. And of course, we'll see you all next time. Uh, very soon. So until then, see you very soon. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going to go with that one, but hey, I'll see you soon.